According to Zuzu, Tesla just topped the list of the car industry's most contended customers. With an average rating of 4.53, the automaker has the best average reviews out of all the brands on the list. One thing is certain, while Tesla may not be adored by everyone, many tend to do so. Welcome back to everything Tesla stock, everyone. Tesla is a highly regarded business, not just for the automobiles it produces, but also for the amazing technologies it uses to accomplish it. The brand's Model 3 is regarded as one of the greatest electric vehicles on the market right now and took first place in the worldwide automotive rankings. And the Model Y recently earned a 5-star rating from the Australasian New Car Assessment Program, Euro NCAP, and other safety organizations. Many Tesla supporters credit the company's success to its high technological advancement and the skilled staff who construct these wonderful vehicles. While this is true, American TV star and comedian Jay Leno thinks that Tesla's popularity may have more to do with its CEO than with these inventions. Why did he say that, then? Keep watching to learn more. But first, if you enjoy this kind of information, don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable notifications. Keep abreast with all developments with Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, has recently received plaudits from Tesla Bull Jay Leno, host of the Tesla television show. Musk is viewed by the Tesla Bull as a brilliant practical thinker who is knowledgeable about manufacturing and the supply chain. He describes Musk as a visionary who has dreams that truly materialize since he does not believe in patterns and merely wants to construct electric automobiles for everyone. Leno recently told Yahoo Finance that he believes Musk deserves some credit for being the driving force behind EVs with Tesla. He claimed that many people had little faith in electric car technology and thought they were slow before the Tesla boss took over the company. Yet since that time, a lot has changed. How has Tesla's growth been most significantly aided over time? And how useful do Jay Leno think Tesla and its vehicles are? To obtain all the information, make sure to keep watching. He also asserted that electric cars might save the vintage automobile business, and there are many good reasons to believe that. Due to the pandemic and subsequent economic crisis, the EV industry doesn't show much growth at the beginning of 2020, but sales end up being pleasantly unexpected. By the end of the year, global EV sales had increased by 43%, and the EV industry's global market share had reached a record 4.6%. The number of electric vehicle sales doubled to 6.7 million in 2021. This year's weekly EV sales were significantly higher than those for all of 2012 and for 2022. In the first five months of this year, more than 3.2 million plug-in cars were registered worldwide. This market growth has been extremely rapid, and it has been somewhat aided by major countries taking action to reduce carbon emissions in the future. The industry is living up to the anticipation that electric cars would be essential in achieving the zero emission goals set for 2050. Since it is now easier than ever to own an EV, even more so than it was 10 years ago, the market is expected to experience exponential growth for years, and Tesla is expected to benefit greatly from this growth. Global EV sales have increased this year and will likely increase even further in the coming years, most likely as more people become interested in the technology. The Tesla Roadster immediately became popular upon going into production in 2008, and it saw strong sales that year. Despite having a price that was out of reach for many, it was an electric vehicle with practical features and exceptional battery technology, and practically every Tesla vehicle that has been released has had the same kind of story. The car company is by far the most successful EV manufacturer in the US and the first to sell more than 190,000 EVs in a single year. The majority of Tesla sales worldwide are made in the US, where sales increased by 280% from 48,000 in 2017 to 197,517 in 2018. The automaker became the best-selling EV producer in 2021 after selling more than 420,000 units in the first half of the year. According to Tesla's sales statistics, deliveries increased by 73% year-over-year in the third quarter of 2021. With more than 911,000 deliveries as of May, 
The company's Model 3 and Y were the best-selling EVs globally for this year as well. Since 2009, Tesla has produced more than 1.91 million electric vehicles, with annual production rates rapidly increasing. The automaker has started the manufacturing process. 50,000 vehicles will be produced in around 36 days, as opposed to the 181 days it took to construct the same number of vehicles four years ago. And all of these may be a result of Musk's outstanding leadership abilities. According to Leno, Musk is the reason Tesla is so successful. He once described the CEO of the car manufacturer as a visionary who is reinventing the industry. He further compared Musk to notable figures like Thomas Edison and Henry Ford, both of whom made numerous wonderful breakthroughs. Do you believe Elon Musk is to blame for Tesla's success thus far? If Elon Musk weren't the CEO, would it still exist? Comment below and let us know. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe and enable notifications. In 2021, Jay Leno set a new world record while playing a Tesla Model S. He did this as he was recording a segment on his program, Jay Leno's Garage. Driving the Tesla at the Famosa Raceway in California, he allegedly broke the previous quarter-mile world record mark of 9.4 seconds by crossing the finish line in just 9.247 seconds, according to Leno. The host recently asserted in an interview with Yahoo! Finance that the Tesla Blade is the world's fastest accelerating car after purchasing yet another one of the prissiest versions of the Model S, the Plate. I believe he purchased it because of its functionality. He also praised the performance of the Model Y in 2021. The Tesla supporter claimed that Tesla is most likely 8 to 10 years ahead in terms of battery technology. He continued by saying that a new technology must be superior in order to succeed. Lionel gave Tesla great marks for their supercharging infrastructure as well. He once recalled the time Musk revealed his plans to construct charging stations all down the shore, and he praised the tech guru for being able to make the initiative a reality. With over 35,000 superchargers, Tesla owns and runs the world's largest rapid charging network. It exists not only in the US but also all across the world. The automaker also unveiled its 100th supercharger in Beijing in July. The manufacturer is continually expanding its network in China, which is crucial because the nation is a significant market leader for EVs. The majority of Tesla investors and the Nose agree that the company's latest revelation of its fleet of 30,000 supercharging stations across the world with superchargers in each of the US 50 states significantly increased its $1 trillion valuation. The stock investor thinks Tesla is worth the price since it will be well ahead of its rivals in 2020, according to Adam Jonas of Morgan Stanley Auto Analysis. Although Musk's unorthodox behavior may raise some eyebrows and cause a stir, many investors like it and view it as a positive. While some, like Jay Leno, believe that Elon Musk is a powerful force for humanity, others, like Hillary Clinton and Labor Secretary Robert Reek, hold a different perspective. Reek had a somewhat different opinion about it and called out Musk for his statement in April, when the Tesla CEO had expressed concerns about Twitter's treatment of dissenting viewpoints claiming that the social media platform is becoming less and less hospitable to free expression. Musk's vision for the internet, according to the former U.S. Secretary of Labor, is perilous and makes no sense. Jay Leno is renowned for owning large fleets of expensive cars. His car collection, which is close to the Burbank Airport, contains 181 automobiles and 160 motorcycles. However, the precise number varies because the car collection regularly buys and sells automobiles to keep it from becoming stale. It still means a lot $52 million to say that he has experience in the auto industry. He rates Tesla so highly among his fleet, which is interesting and excellent for the automaker because it will draw more customers to its vehicles. What do you think about Jay's remarks, though? Comment below and let us know. Don't forget to tell us how much you think Tesla is worth as well. Go ahead and click the next video on your screen to see the information about what Tesla has been doing recently.